Hey Hit Point friends, welcome back to the channel again. Jeremy here with our next episode in our Miami Dolphins franchise. Uh, it's been a couple weeks uh, since we had our last episode. I've done a couple other videos since then. We got a rebuild of the San Francisco 49ers out there as well as a what if rebuild, something new that I'm trying out of the New Orleans Saints. Basically asking the question, what if the Saints uh, went all out for the 2020 season? So take a look at those two videos. Uh, let me know if, in the comments below for sure in that what if uh, scenario. What are some other what if scenarios you'd like to see done in some rebuilds uh, for different teams? But when it comes to the Dolphins franchise, I took some time off because of the update that was potentially coming uh, for franchise, which they've now said will be happening in November. And I was waiting to see if they were saying if franchises that were already going on would be affected or not. And as of right now, they're saying that anything that happens with the franchise will work. We'll see when it's executed in November if that's the case. But I feel comfortable enough to continue on then with the Dolphins franchise as is and just do more of these episodes. So those will be coming back out more consistently. But here we are with episode four. Do you want to show you in last episode, we had something happen uh, with Alvin Kamara where he didn't get a development trait upgrade to Superstar X Factor when he should have. I went back and looked at the footage and it looks like it's because I didn't click on the message for breakout player after the game and so it didn't apply it, which I think is kind of bogus. I don't think it's kind of stupid you have to go to a message to actually have it be applied. So we rectified that here and I went ahead and bumped Alvin Kamara up to Superstar X Factor because I totally met all the qualifications for that for him getting that. Uh, again, check out the last video, uh, the last episode to see that. But that does give us our first Superstar X Factor player on offense. Uh, he has the first one free X Factor ability. So that is pretty awesome. He actually is our only player with X Factor capability right now. But we're going to go ahead and start jumping in. Um, in week eight, so we are at the trade deadline. We're going to look at maybe trying to make some trades. And we're going to deal with some contracts here, potentially upgrade some players do all those things, and we'll continue on week by week until we get to another week with a development trade. Like I said, we're at the trade deadline, trying to use some of our depth at wide receiver to get some other players to help with uh, some depth we need at linebacker and on the D-line. So, very first trade, not bad. I was able to grab Gerard Davis. He has two years left on his contract from the Lions, trading him Allen Hearns and Laird. Uh, we have like four running backs now. We don't need that many. So that was a that's a decent good trade for depth. Maybe Davis can progress alongside of Baker and McMillan. Um, but that that's a good first solid trade. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Uh, really helping out with our linebackers here. Uh, I just grabbed Levante David uh, off the Buccaneers. He's 31 years old. Yeah, he's not gonna be he's gonna be regressing. But for this year, especially great trade deadline trade. We tra trade away Jaquim Grant another depth there wide receiver and Bellage, who isn't even with the Dolphins anymore in real life and got Levante David from the Buccaneers uh, did not expect that that's a huge addition for us it's really going to help us out I'm actually going to have to finagle and change some stuff around with the linebackers now uh, with bringing him in because that's going to put Baker down to where he won't be starting so I got to look and see what I want to do there so I made a lot of changes here on the defense, which I think is going to make us better in the long run. Um, I took Shaq Lawson, took him out of right outside linebacker, moved him to right end. And that allowed me to then put Christian Wilkins into the D tackle. So I didn't have to worry about now trading for a defensive tackle, having Wilkins in his spot he was originally drafted for anyways. And then I took Jerome Baker and made him our new right outside linebacker, making McMillan and David our one-two punch in the middle and Baker on the outside along with Van Noy. I think this really improves our defense. I mean, it went up. Actually, it's an 81 overall now. But overall, just looking ahead to the future, I think this will really help us out. Uh, so I'm very excited about that and see what could happen here in games. But I'm going to go ahead and start doing some simulating. I'll let you guys know if we come to uh, some storyline type stuff where we got to deal with. Uh, now that we are past the trade deadline, if anyone was frustrated or upset, I don't have that kind of stuff to know if maybe I should have traded someone away. Um, but we're looking pretty good. Halfway through the year, we're 5-2. and two. Um, We're going to see how, how the rest of the season progresses. 
Here we are at week 11 and we have another person up for a breakout trait here. Breakout player. Byron Jones up for a breakout performance here. He's frustrated. Last week wasn't the best showing for their defense. He wants to be the guy who sets that standard. Compares himself to Babe Ruth. He's going to make a huge statement against the Bucks. So we got to hold the Buccaneers to less than 100 passing yards, or we have to get three turnovers, or Byron Jones himself has to get three interceptions, or force fumbles, tackles for loss, or sacks. This one's going to probably be the most challenging one I've done. I don't do well on defense. I really struggle on defense. Uh, but we're really going to have to try and see what we can do, uh, try to see if we can get this for Byron Jones. I don't have a lot of hopes, especially since we're playing the Buccaneers. Throwing on first down is <laughs> Great pick by our safety, Holland. That is huge right off the bat. That's one turnover. We just need two more of those and we'll be set. Playing in zone coverage here with Jones. Going back. Oh, nice, 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 guys. And this pass defense, they were sensational in the win last week, and they're looking good here so far in this first quarter. You know, we often talk Playing some man coverage. Oh, and it goes the other way with it. Games where they're really, you know, in that zone. Defenses can be the exact same way, and I think we're seeing an example of it here. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. From the gun on third down, Brady, a dump underneath to Jones. And he's going to be stopped here a few yards short of the first as the tackle. Fourth down. We're at the end of the first quarter here. It's 10 to 7. We're ahead. It's third and nine. We're in the red zone. Throwing his tongue of Ilo. Trying to get us and unsuccessfully getting us uh, first down. So we're going to kick another field goal. And fourth down now coming up. They certainly had good starting field position on that drive, but couldn't do anything with it after three plays. We're here on the next drive. It's third and four for the Buccaneers, trying to make a stop. Oh, oh, come on. Yes. Good tackle. Good tackle there by Holland. We've had two picks this game now. One of them happening in simulation. Uh, so we need one more to reach the goal for Byron Jones to progress to the next trait. We're a little under seven minutes uh, left in the second quarter. I'm in the red zone again, very close to being able to score. Trying to pull ahead so we can put a little cushion here and give the defense some room. It says one thing that's big that helps with the goals for the defense is if we can do well on offense. Oh gosh, gotta throw this away. Third and 10. Might be looking Kamara here with love to get the ball to chase. And I got hit because I wasn't paying attention. Man, I was really struggling on offense in this game. Looks like we're going to have to kick another field goal. And it is good. 16 to 7 with a little over six minutes left in the second quarter. Here we are again, less than two minutes left. Buccaneers scored. Oh, Kamara up the middle. Kamara taking it in. That is a touchdown. That takes us ahead. It gives us a little bit more cushion for the defense. I, we definitely did not hold them under 100 yards. So we have to get one more turnover in this game. We have to. Play coming up for this defensive unit. They're down, but just by a bit on the scoreboard. Can they get this third down stop in the third quarter? He's going to float this one deep. Nice catch. Jamar Chase in for the touchdown. Woo. We, I think we will get a win here. I really hope so. But I still got to get that third turnover. What can this defense do now that their opponents are in the red zone? To throw again on second down. Brady. Throwing the ball away, Tom Brady. It's gonna be third and three. We gotta either, we gotta make a pick here. We gotta get another turnover. Not quite 50%, four for nine. Here it's third and three. Brady to throw again. Oh, dropped pass, dropped pass by Mike Evans. Whoa. Okay. Come on, they may be running it. They are not running it. 
Oh, come on, Howard. Why aren't you in a better position there? Shoot. It's third and nine. Third down. Trying to do something here. Trying to get a pick. Trying to cover the guys that he might throw to. Then we got guys on the outside there. Come on, defense. The first at about the nine yard line. They stop him for only three that time, and that'll bring up fourth down. Brady not coming to the sideline. They're going to go for it here on fourth. Come on. Come on. Oh, where are you? Why aren't you covering there? Ah, they score. They're going to tie it up. All right, we got a little over three minutes left. It's the third and four. Got to get a first down. Going to Williams. Oh, breaking the tackles. All right. And you, what's more important here, getting the trait or getting a first down? I think, I mean, or getting a first, or getting the win. I think getting the win is what's more important here. If that means we run out the clock and can't play any more defense, that is what it is. We're going to let the time go down to the two-minute warning. So the Dolphins have it as we welcome you back in. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Flowers, why didn't you block the linebacker? I like it. I like the call. Still an opportunity to run the football and chew up a little more time off the clock. For some reason, Buccaneers are not using any of their timeouts, so we're going to let the clock just go down to almost zero here. Three... Two and hike the ball. Run it. Yes, Kamara. Kamara getting in there, getting the blocks. And that should shore up the game. We may even score a touchdown here. We're going to let Kamara just keep on running this ball. And Kamara running it in. Takes us ahead by a touchdown does give Tom Brady a little over a minute to still go down the field and score, but we're going to try to get a turnover, get the win, and get the progression for Byron Jones. They'll look to throw. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Go for the pick. He bumped it up. Hey, Baker. Oh, Baker, I should have gone more over like I, I thought about it, and I didn't. Should have done it. Hey, they're going no huddle. Ooh, nice. That was a nice play on their part. All right, how much time do we got? 30 seconds. 30 seconds left. Working with a second and four. This may be a bad play call on my part, so I'm going to leave the safety alone. I'm changing it. Going to go with man coverage. I don't know who Baker needed to have, but we got a sack. Sack by Byron Jones. Nice. Another timeout. For Ten seconds. Okay, we know they're going to go for a Hail Mary here. We have a chance to get a turnover. And a third pick by Gardner Johnson. And that will be the game, and that should give us the development trait for Byron Jones. Definitely going to double check that when we get out of here. But final score, 38-31. That will give us a record of 8-2 after week 11. We're at the moment of truth. Did Byron Jones go up in development? You know, Coach, football is simpler than people think. It's about one-on-one -on -one matchups. The better man always wins. And after today's game, I don't think there's anyone better than me. Byron Jones, now a Superstar X Factor. We now have two players on the team with Superstar X Factor abilities. We'll take a look now and see what Byron Jones' ability is. And he has, oh, amazing ability. He has the Zone Hawk ability. That is going to be fantastic for us. Zone Hawk defenders lock down a part of the field. When they enter the zone, this ability increases the rate of catch knockouts and interceptions while in zone coverage. 
That's outstanding. Oh, man. This Dolphins team is doing so well this season. Getting the wins. We are definitely playoff bound. It's just going to be a question how far in the playoffs can we get. Well, guys, there were no more developments that needed to happen during the rest of the season as I simulated week by week. So here we are at the playoffs. We went 11 and 5. So not bad. Only we got three more wins the rest of the season after week 11. Took a couple more losses. Uh, but we ended up 11 and 5. We are the number two seed. But due to the new structure of the playoffs with wild cards, we have a wild card game. So. We're going to be playing the Bengals. Going to be very interesting. A matchup of Joe Burrow versus Tua. See what happens there. But we do want to check and see how did we end for the season. Like I said, we had the number two seed in the AFC. Chiefs were with the best record. Cardinals with the best record in the NFC. You got the Browns, of course, making the playoffs like they normally do. Falcons. Jets get the wild card. Seahawks with a wild card. Ravens with a wild card. Colts win their division. Washington football team wins theirs. Cowboys and Eagles wild card, Vikings winning their division, of course, then the Cincinnati Bengals rounding up the last wild card spot for the AFC. Looking at the rest of the AFC East, Patriots with seven and nine, Bills five and eleven. When we look at the stats for the season, we had the best offense in the NFL. The huge improvement, huge improvement. Our defense, though, not that great. Stinks because we did make some changes on defense. Thought we'd see some progression there. Tua, very solid uh, year here. 28 touchdowns, only 11 picks, over 4,000 yards. Sacked more than I'd like to see him sacked. Rushing-wise, though, Alvin Kamara. Alvin Kamara is our guy. He was the foundation of the change for the offense, giving them the production they needed. Almost 1,700 yards, 14 touchdowns, only one fumble for the year. Tua even got involved with two touchdowns, but Kamara commanding that backfield. Preston Williams with a great year as well, getting that superstar development, getting over a thousand yards, nine touchdowns this season. Chase with an amazing rookie year, eight touchdowns, 900 yards. Gazeki getting involved. Parker with a bit of a drop off with these younger guys. Parker may be someone we look at moving away from in the off season. Uh, he has a bigger contract. He's 28 years old. He's gonna start regressing here soon. And he has three years left on his contract. So we may have to look into that, see what we're going to do. On the defense, Holland, our rookie free safety, amazing year. Over 100 tackles, one pick. We had Wilkins, Van Noy, Lawson, and Williams all getting over uh, 10 uh, tackles for loss. Sack-wise, no one with the, no one really with big numbers. We don't have a stud rushing guy to get those numbers. But picks-wise, Jerome Baker, Jerome Baker with five picks, McMillan with three, are two stud young linebackers delivering this season, getting us picks. That is amazing to see. I'm a I'm a bit of a Buckeye fan, so it's nice to see that happen as well for them. Uh, let's look at the yearly awards. Uh, Matt Ryan wins MVP of the year. That's really cool to see. Justin Herbert is on the list out of all the rookies. But that's really nice. Matt Ryan wins MVP. Uh, Demetrius Turner wins Coach of the Year. Flores coming up, coming up in second. On the AFC side, Offensive Player of the Year, you got Jameis Winston with the Colts. Very surprising to see. Kamara makes the list. On the defensive side, Von Miller winning Defensive Player of the Year. Jerome Baker making the list, though. Offensive Rookie of the Year goes to Trevor Lawrence. Not surprising. Went 8-8 eight eight with the Steelers in his rookie year. Jamar Chase does make the list, though. Defensive Rookie of the Year does go to our guy, Javon Holland. Awesome year for him as a rookie. Uh, Jordan Williams, defensive tackle, uh, also getting uh, on the, onto the list. Um, best quarterback goes to Jameis Winston. Joe Burrow does make the list. So that does make the matchup against them even more interesting. Best running back, that's right, Alvin Kamara getting best running back of the year. Best wide receiver goes to Willie Sneed. Preston Williams didn't make the list, though. So he is greatly developing, going to for sure be our one-two punch with Jamar Chase uh, as we let Parker go elsewhere or try to trade him away. 
Quentin Nelson getting the offensive lineman of the year. Allie Marpet on there as well. Defensive line, no Dolphins. Linebacker, Von Miller, since he did it to get defensive player of the year, I had a feeling he would get that instead of Jerome Baker. Baker making the list, though. Rashad Fenton getting the uh, best defensive back award. So very good, very good season for the team, going 11-5, and five, getting into the playoffs, getting that progression for Byron Jones. Just a lot of good movement here for the team. Uh, we're going to go ahead. We're going to go ahead and do the wild card game. See if we can win that. And from then, though, that might be it. But uh, we'll see how I'm feeling after we do the wild card game. All right, here we are in the first quarter. The Bengals have kicked a field goal. It's third down and five. Got to get a first down here. Go with a different playbook. I don't really care for the Dolphins playbook. Um, so went with the Titans. I like their playbook better. So we'll see how that goes. All right, we have four minutes left in the second quarter. Uh, down 13 to three. Uh, I've not been given a lot of opportunities to get into the game on offense, unfortunately, and I just took a sack. Uh, second and 18. Whew. Uh, not doing so well against this Bengals team. Very frustrating. Definitely would love to get the win here. Should get the win here, honestly. Overthrow. I don't understand that. That was an accurate bullet pass, and somehow I overthrow the wide receiver. Something is wrong within the gameplay for this game. I'm telling you that. Going to Parker. Parker only getting one foot down. Oh. Gotta go for another field goal. We did not get it. This isn't looking good, guys. Nice. Grab. Camara. Camara with the ball. Camara. Down to the 10. We have a flag on the play, though. Yes. All right, so we will decline that since we are on the 10-yard line. Okay. That was huge. That was a huge play. Oh, come on. Throw the ball away. Oh, my goodness. That was just not helpful. receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. Going to Williams. Williams catching the ball. Touchdown, Preston Williams. Momentum starting to shift in this game. It's Preston Williams. Okay, get us to the 12-yard line. Now the Dolphins will use the last of their timeouts. As they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. First and ten. At the From down at the line. twelve, it's first and ten. Two and now on first down. He's gonna float this one deep right side. Jamar Chase. Jamar Chase with the catch. Thirty seconds left. Come on, guys. Come on. Stop going through animation so I can. So this is likely the last play. Oh my goodness. Oh, we didn't get it. We didn't get enough time. So much of the clock got run off there. That was kind of bogus. Because I didn't have any timeouts left. Oh, that stinks. Oh, I thought we were going to have a chance to get it within three. We have a really good chance here on our first drive in the third quarter. We're now at the right at first and goal on the three-yard line. Going to try to run it in here with Kamara. Not successful. Atkins getting him in the backfield. We still have two more tries. Got to get score here. Get within three points. Go to Jamar Chase. Jamar Chase getting the touchdown. Woo. Oh, Jamar Chase, such a good player. So Cincinnati's got had a turnover. We have the ball back, have a chance to get ahead here. Looking at Parker in the middle, potentially. 
Does not look like that will happen. Got to run it out. Oh, wasn't able to throw it before getting sacked. Okay, second and 19, guys. I think we can do this. We will at least tie it up if we don't score. But I think we have a good chance of scoring. Gazeki, Gazeki, who catches touchdowns in the red zone? That's right, Gazeki. We are now at the towards the end of the third quarter. It's 24 to 20. We're in the red zone again. Handing off to Kamara. Oh, not working out. Kamara has not had the best game today. But we're gonna get this in. We are gonna score again. Come on, Dolphins. Going, going to Parker. Parker running it in. Parker with the touchdown. Yes. Yes! 31 to 20. We've got a really big chance here. Take the whole game out of out of the hands of the Bengals. It's 31 to 28. So we've got an opportunity here to score again. Going to Parker. Parker in the end zone. Parker again with another touchdown. Wrestling for that ball, but getting his second touchdown of the game. Showing up in this wild card playoff game. Oh, I'm getting, I'm getting nervous. I'm getting nervous, guys. Oh, I'm getting, becoming very nervous. Uh, it's 38 to 35 with three minutes left. Needing to hold on to the ball. Run out some clock. Guys, I've been. Uh, it's been such a good game. I would hate to lose this one now. Oh, Camaro almost getting the first down. It's third and one. We're going to let this go to the two-minute warning. Get us a chance to run out more clock with the run. Hopefully get the first down. Try to end this game. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So the Dolphins have it as we welcome you back in. And let's see what they've come up with. Here we go. After having time to talk it over. Can we get the first down? Can we win this game? Oh, we have a hole. We have a hole. Kamara. Kamara's getting there. Oh, yes. Oh, make them use their timeouts. Run out this clock. Minute 56. Another run. Oh, great block. Get another first down. Kamara. Kamara is coming alive here in these last three minutes of the game. So another stop. 150 left in the football game. Not totally home free. X Factor ability active for now for Kamara. Oh. All the lanes just crash closed, but that's all right. That's the Bengals' last timeout. We are in field goal range. Have to imagine this will be on the ground as well as they come up second and seven. Send Gasicki over to the left. Oh, nice block! Nice block! Yes, another first down. 140 yards for Kamara. Oh, he was being held so much during this game. Held back not being able to run and he has shown up in this last part of the game right when we needed him to another good block uh, at least a good block for the fullback not so much by our center we got some time we can let run off the clock here oh all right it's third down. We could just kneel it, but I really want to give Kamara more uh, yards. <laughs> Being a little greedy, really hoping for no fumble. That would just be horrible. Kamara up the middle. Ugh. Whoever had 99, whoever had Reader, would not hold on to him at all. But that will run out the rest of the clock. That should be the game. There's no reason why it shouldn't be. We got 10 seconds left. And that will be final score, 38-35. Your Miami Dolphins going on to the divisional round.
Look at those numbers. 406 passing yards, 177 rushing yards. Each team with a takeaway. Our team showed up when it mattered. Let's take a look at some of these numbers. Tua, 423 yards, five touchdowns, one pick. Completely outperforming Joe Burrow. Taking the team on his back and carrying us to a win. Kamara showing up, no touchdowns for him, but 146 yards. Mixon was definitely getting the ball in for the Bengals. Preston Williams showing why he got that superstar development this year. 121 yards and a touchdown. Parker with 74 yards and two TDs. Chase showing up as well. And Gesicki, everyone delivering. Kamara with 100, 111 receiving yards. So many yards for Kamara in this game. Defensively, no sacks, but the one pick by McMillan, huge for us. Great game. It looks like in these playoffs, we have to make our way through Ohio to have a chance to get to the Super Bowl. Now we have to face the Browns in the divisional playoff game. But that is going to be it for today's episode. So tune in next time to see, can we make the push, get to the Super Bowl in our next episode, get to a, a Super Bowl win, and also beat Madden's favorite team, the Cleveland Browns. Thanks so much, guys, for tuning in. Don't forget, hit that like button, subscribe. Try to get to 100 subscribers by the end of the month. Definitely you need your support. You guys are the best. Would love someday to be able to do this full time. Can't do that right now. Uh, doesn't pay the bills, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, hope you guys really liked this episode. Like I said, these will be back for the foreseeable future as we continue to make our way through multiple seasons with Tua trying to create a dynasty for the Miami Dolphins. Uh, don't forget, check out the 49ers rebuild and the Saints rebuild where we ask the question, what would it look like if the New Orleans Saints said screw it and let's go all in for the 2020 season knowing that Drew Brees is going to retire soon. You guys are the best. Don't forget, keep an eye on your health bar.